Welcome everybody to another episode of Mod Reviews and today ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be having not one, not two, not three, alright we're gonna be having four mod reviews basically and first thing I wanna show you is gonna be this class Xerian 4000, the tractor that is dedicated to slurry operations. Well basically what you have here is our well I would say modified uh, class structure I showed you before, uh, which is made specifically for fertilization purposes. Basically, it's got this tank over here, which you can purchase separately for 54,000, I think. It has 16,000 liters capacity, and well, it doesn't come with this cultivator behind, you can purchase it separately. Basically, it has 8 meter width, and with this thing attached, you can have it up to 12. And I believe this one should also cultivate the ground. Although, I really like this mod. It has its own uh, drawback, as for example, you can see here, textures aren't very well done. But, I think we can close our eyes on that. Nothing. There we go, this is another mod which came recently. I was wondering when she's gonna come here. Dolly, welcome to our farm. This is another, another mod, which I really liked as I believe it adds immersion to our experience. Well, meet Dolly here, trusty ship. Basically what this mod does is, well, it follows you everywhere and says, bah, nothing more than that. Uh, but, but I really love it. Let's, let's, let's show them, let's show them Dolly how obedient you are. There you go, look at, the, look at this beautiful, beautiful ship. There we go, I'm loving it already. One thing I wanna test though in this episode is how well she's gonna be. Uh, traveling across the map because I'm gonna be jumping here and there to show you guys different kind of mods But without further ado, let's start with our first mod of the day class 4000 Xerian Which has approximately the same horsepower, but don't think it really matters When it comes to fertilization process doesn't matter Even if it had 40 horsepower, I wouldn't complain because well, it's sufficient enough. Oh, oh I forgot to refill actually got dumbass that's the whole purpose of me coming here. As you can see, as soon as you enter your vehicle, Dolly just stops there and stares very uh, uncomfortably at you, as if you forgot her. I heard that you can also ride the bike and she's gonna be uh, following you behind. And while we are refilling, I just wanna talk a little bit about steering of this particular tractor. As you can see, whenever we turn to the left, both our front and rear wheels will turn together. And I believe it is an awesome thing to have. Not every tractor has it. Well, sometimes it could be inconvenient, but um, as a general uh, rule, I think it is an amazing thing to have on your tractor. Now, as you can see, we have 16,000 liters, which isn't a lot. You can also have this tractor in the second variant here, like attach the Kaweka double twin shift slurry tank behind it. As you can see, this is one of the possibilities, although I don't think it is one of the best. You can also try and attach both at the same time, and it's gonna, and it's gonna look very hilarious. And here in the uh, in our cabin, you can see we can do all sorts of different. Uh, oh my God! I'm uh, stop it! Don't! Oh my God! This is very bad, but I will try to handle it. I will try to. God damn it! Basically, you can uh, play with your curtains here, just like so. Then radio, which doesn't work. Uh, curtains, no climate control, which you won't feel. Now that cosplay isn't on our way anymore, I will try to demonstrate what this cabin can do actually. So there we go, by pressing enter on your numpad, you can, oh my gosh it's glitching again, never mind. Yeah, I think I know why it glitched out, for some reason it doesn't want to let me go, so you gotta turn this thing off, so you could control your camera again, so something to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at it from the outside, I am loving design of the structure, but now we know it's a little bit glitched. Uh, let me know in the comments below guys if you encountered the same glitch or maybe it's due to some mods um, of mine not tolerating each other. There you go, it looks just like so. Basically what it can do, what it should do, it should allow you to refill your slurry tank from another slurry tank or exchange your fluids basically. Nothing more than that. Now that our tractor is ready to fertilize, let me unfold this thing. Now, one thing we have to do is we have to lower our cultivator. And it starts working straight away. As you can see, nothing more than that. 
you get to cultivate your ground just like so make sure there are no crops in the ground otherwise they're gonna be completely and utterly destroyed our regular fertilizer but but with a slight twist of being super awesome it looks incredible but yeah other than that I did not find any uh, glitches or major bugs except one I showed you already everything else seemed to work just fine game doesn't uh, glitch out you don't you don't see any black screen so that's good that's good uh, considering that this mod's been made before the uh, recent patch it works pretty well I think it is quite reliable and uh, yeah that's no nothing else to, sh to show you guys except notice how fast your slurry is gonna be done in here yep don't expect it to last very long that's it one lane and you're gonna have to refill now I'm loving this mod I think that the panel has to be fixed but other than that I would truly recommend it again take a look at its design I think that's what makes this mod truly unique a lot of attention to details amazing textures not uh, some old crap which doesn't work it works pretty well you can also attach another trailers behind so you could use this tractor uh, just as your normal tractor in game not mentioning that it's got a lot and a lot of horsepower as well next mod on our list is gonna be Deutzfar of the future there we go take a look at it take a good hard look at it although I must say textures aren't the best they're pretty well done tractor, uh, tractor in general is a bit uh, shiny I'd say uh, well it's been made on the basis of our uh, regular Deutzfar you can see our regular uh, Deutzfar isn't as green isn't as shiny but but I think I think this one is the f is the model of the future well you can uh, find this particular tractor on Deutzfar website already you can see how well it looks in real life and I, I believe that it's an incredible tractor it looks great I love the headlights especially this one will remain my favorite anyways let's take a look at its interiors there we go interiors are well um, they are of course borrowed from the original tractor here nothing special but for some reason we can see our hand in here which is awesome for some of you guys you may enjoy it and we also can see that textures are a bit sharper than usual so basically cabin is copy paste of our usual do it's far um, with the exception of the wheel I think and the frontal panel it's a bit futuristic well if you ask me um, I think this structure is awesome uh, keep in mind that it's got different uh, options to it as well you can also add uh, weights if you want you can uh, lock steering axles uh, whatever that means <laughs> and you can also well it's more powerful basically I think this one has 340 horsepower in comparison to our usual 240 I think uh, keep in mind that this particular mod is, is in beta still I think this one is 0.5 B model so don't expect a lot from it but it should be reliable reliable enough yes one more thing you should keep in mind is that engine sound is completely different I love that the model isn't bugged out uh, like I've met many times before I've seen models being glitched whenever you break let's try and break will stop gradually which is a nice thing they don't just kite in one place yes there we go Dolly by the way being an awesome girl here follows me everywhere she found a way to me she knows she's my best body in here it's very reliable even though it's in beta still so yeah I truly recommend this one if you like its looks I dig it next on our list I think this is the last mod I'm gonna show for today uh, basically there are gonna be three different trucks it's gonna be called Flieg Fliegel transport mode uh, basically what it is it has three different trucks with different trailers to them now first one on our list is Scania which is awesomely made you wouldn't say that textures are poor uh, the Iveco on the other hand I think is the worst out of three of them because well textures aren't the best I don't know where they take these textures from but well it could be worked on much better in my opinion man is our usual one you wouldn't, you wouldn't see any uh, bad textures or any missing things in it it just it's just perfect model uh, one interesting thing to note about uh, all three of those models is that they have some sort of a rear view here which is very handy in my opinion that's the real look of how real truckers look whenever they try to go in reverse 
and they all have the same amount of horsepower 430 horsepower they will all cost the same amount of money and they all have the same trailer behind it 35,000 liters one thing to note is that they all can transport same amount of fruit types which is all kinds of fruit types which is great in my opinion you also get to choose one out of two trailers one of them looks like a wagon of some sorts the other one is our regular trailer we are all we are all used to um, well they have the same capacity basically 35,000 liters a maintenance is again very ridiculous I would advise you guys to play with your mod files and change those numbers but other than that I would say it's an amazing mod I really love it well one thing I want to tell you is that a uh, man's engine and Iveco's engine are completely identical they sound the same Display here of Ivecos is different, they try to do something with it, although you can see that textures are very poor. I would not personally recommend you guys to drive this one, as it will sometimes just spoil your experience. I think they need to work on this one. Other than that, I would say that mod is very well done. You get to see the Scania's interior, which is much better, much better, not as good as man's of course, but, but I can recommend this one to you personally, I think it's great. and. The engine sound is very awesome as well. Very different from Mans and Ivecos. Let's hear. Yep, it had a bit of hiccup in there at the startup, but nothing major. I love how it sounds. Very, very powerful engine. Let's take a look at its design, and I want to look at the trailer's design in particular. So, well, basically you have these trailers, which have 35,000 liters capacity, as I told you before. They look very similar, although, oh my gosh, I'm showing you completely uh, identical trailers here. Well, this one here, you can see, oh, hello, Dolly. Uh, here we can see this one has uh, two wheels at the back, whether this one is a bit uh, wagon-looking trailer here. And uh, personally, I love how this one looks more, but you know how I hate these kind of trailers. They are gonna give you a headache whenever you try to go in reverse. Well, I would prefer this combination. And one unique thing about this, these trailers in particular, I would say, is that they have some sort of a rolls in there, as you can see. The covers, they are in there, not like on every other trailer, they're invisible. On this one, you can see them, and I think it's a very nice touch. Now that we are almost full of potatoes, one thing I completely forgot to show you is our exchangeable wheels or interchangeable wheels. There we go, we can press M. Here we can see our regular wheels, the ones you can find on our man. And um, yeah, I personally don't enjoy them. I really like these ones, the off road looking ones. I think they suit our trailers very well I wonder if trailers wheels can be changed as well yep they can be changed but I still like our off-road looking wheels I think especially for the Scania here they will add more power let's take a look at it how well Scania is gonna be able to handle our uh, two trailers and I feel like it's doing pretty well there you go there you can see all of our trailers being filled up and Scania is performing pretty well, decent, decent acceleration, uh, considering that we have, what, almost uh, 100,000 liters. So there we go, we've delivered our batch of potatoes here. Let's see how well our trailers do look whenever they try and unload. First one to go is going to be our main one, and I want to see what's the tipping side. Tipping side is going to be set to the left. I don't want to set it to the left. Let's use the right one as we are positioned this way. All right, let's try it. Oh my gosh, that's what's supposed to be. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, it doesn't care whether it's going to be left or right. It will unload to the left in any case. But yeah. I'm enjoying the whole experience of this truck. I would personally use it on my farm to be honest. I know there are a bunch of alternatives, but I like that it has different colors to it. You can choose whatever color you want, not only for your truck, but for your trailers too. Those kind of details, those small details, they matter. Now I think that's gonna be it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments below what you think. 
don't forget to like it if you liked it don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always live like there's no tomorrow Let's go. Turn back.